name is Charging Wildcats. Today is Thursday, November 30th. It's the National Mason Jar Day, and I'm Denisha Patton. And I'm Shannon Now let's get today's announcements. Unless you live under a rock, you know that we, with the win last Friday night, we are undefeated and on our way to the state championship game. We will be facing Bentonville at War Memorial Saturday, this Saturday at noon. Be sure to show up to support our Wildcats. Ticket prices are $7 for adults and $6 for students. Tickets can be purchased at all lunch shifts for students and staff all week. On Friday, we will do a send-off right here in school. We will begin dismissing around 2.20. Your teachers will have your assigned areas, so please listen for the intercom announcements. Once the walkthrough is complete, the students are to report directly to 7 period. Regarding the state of the game and according to officials at Memorial Stadium, all parking for the state championship will be on the east side of the stadium and the clear bag policy will be used for the high school state championship. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Dom, and I'm here with our quarterback, David Chapel, to see what he's going to bring to the table this Saturday. What can we expect to see? Well, you know, you're going to see everything this Saturday. We're going to bring, we're going we're gonna to put everything out there. We're going to show some trick plays. We're going to show some misdirection. We're going to show some pass plays. We're going to show some, some of everything. You know how we do. All right, Kobe, you've been a part of very good offense. Are you worried about their defense? Uh, not at all. We, we just going to go do what we normally do, and we're going to move the ball. We run the ball, then we throw the ball. We can always go run first. <laughs> Dennis, you've been protecting Chap all year long at center. Uh, is there anything new we can expect? No, we're not going to do anything new. We're just going to be doing what we've been doing, hitting them in the mouth, just playing a physical brand of football. Jerry, defense is what wins championships, so are y'all doing anything new? Um, you know, we always try something new, try new defensive packages to throw each opponent, and we have some new stuff that we're going to throw at our opponent, and hopefully they can't stop it, and we're going to stop them up front because defense wins championships. Changing subjects, you probably already know that we're in the last few weeks of school for the year. Semester tests will begin on a week of the 11th through the 15th. And with the test around the corner, it's almost that time. Exemption sheets will be given out sometime next week. So we need you to refresh your memory on some of the policies. Freshmen and sophomores can exempt two tests, and juniors and seniors can exempt three tests. No one can exempt more than that. Students may earn exam exemptions by having a B average for the semester. No more than four unexcused absences and no assignment to sack. Not meeting the attendance criteria in a single course removes the opportunity to exempt all semester exams. Finally, all students must take an exam in a course subject each semester. Calling all speech and debate enthusiasts. The Interlarge Speech and Debate team is hosting its annual Wildcat Classic Tournament and is looking for judges. If you are interested in judging this weekend on Friday and Saturday, please contact Kim Stanley at stanleyk at nlrsd.org or Mike Nolan at nolanj at nlrsd.org. The art department will be hosting a night with the arts, a fundraiser including a silent art auction next Monday night along with the band concert. It will be at our auditorium from 5 until 8 p.m. and all, all proceeds will go to the art department for help to pay for the supplies. The swim and dive team took first place last night, swimming against eight other high schools away in Blown Oak. This is a great team performance. The girls relay teams won both to the 200 melee and 200 freestyle. The boys relay team also won both their 200 medley and 200 freestyle, and they swam a state qualifying time in the 200 freestyle relay. In our individual races, we had six first places, seven second places, and six third place finishes. Congratulations. <laughs> What's up, Wildcats? I'm Sarah Douglas. As you know, Christmas is right around the corner, and NLR TV is curious about the top four Christmas movies. These are your options, The Grinch, Elf, Polar Express, and Home Alone. We have a poll on Twitter, so make sure you go vote at NLRTV4. I hope you guys are as ready for the holidays as I am. Thank you. Finally, Thursday, December 7th, will, uh, will be a holiday sweater day here at school. Come to school dressed in your favorite holiday period, but remember that the dress code is still in full effect. Well, that's all the news we have for today. Remember that if you have any announcements or comments, you can contact us via email at nlrtv at nlrsd.org. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter at nlrtv4 and on Instagram at nlrtv underscore nlrhs. And please subscribe to our nlrtv YouTube channel. <laughs> what you do, Shay? <laughs> oh, my God.
Yeah! <laughs> One take. Right on. This is Coach Pies on here live at North Rock High School. I've got Diamond Brown with us today. I was wanting to speak with Diamond today about uh, what she thinks about the football game and uh, what she expects of the Wildcats. Diamond, well, tell me what you think about the Wildcats on front first Saturday at noon at Memorial Stadium. Well, of course, we're going to come out with that dub because they just, they're really good and they're going to play their best. Diamond, I know you've been in the, you've, you've been around North Rock for a while. You've been at some middle schools. Tell me about some of the players that you've had that you've known in your class or great class before you after you. That how much fun has you seen them to evolve into the football team and to the people they are now? Um, well, Tyler Day is one of my classmates, and hearing his name is just real cool because I get to cheer yeah. for him and I know him. Yeah, so, right. yeah. And also, before we got on air a while ago, you talked about being ashy. Why are you so ashy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Right. Oh my God. The fact that you gonna put that as a blooper. Yeah. Oh, you know that's.